Okay, so we're just looking at a topic to do with coordinate geometry and it's finding the x and y intercepts on straight line functions. So, uh, just a reminder, we've got the um, the y axis, sorry, we've got the y axis and the x axis. So, where the line crosses the y axis, that's called the y intercept. And where the line crosses the x axis, that's called the x intercept. Okay, so copy that and come across when you're ready. Okay, so looking at the y and x intercepts. So this is going to be a number. Like, for instance, it could be like 2. So that has a coordinate, and the x always comes first, and the y comes second. So the x, so the y intercept has a 0 for x, and then it has the value. So with the y intercept, like, for instance, that could be minus 1 as an example, but the x number goes first but the y value is, is going to be 0. So the y-intercept x is always equal to 0 and for the x-intercept y equals 0. Okay so it's just the opposite. So the y-intercept has a value for y but nothing for x and the x-intercept has a number for x but has nothing for y. Okay, come across when you're ready. Copy that down. Okay, so with the exception of vertical lines, all straight lines have the form of y, x, y equals mx plus b. Okay, so for instance, if I've got y equals 2x minus 3, I know that that's a straight line. If I've got y equals 5 minus x, I know that's a straight line because I could rearrange it to minus x plus 5. If I have y equals 2x, that's the same because it's the same as 2x plus 0. So all of those are straight lines. So what, to do, what you're looking at is look for the x, and if the power is 1, then you have a straight line. Okay. Now there's some other, obviously, straight lines that we could have. Uh, I'll just check what I've got next page. Nope. So some other straight lines, uh, like for instance, uh, x plus y equals 5, that's a straight line because we could rearrange it and take the x across. Um, y equals x plus 1 over 5, that's a straight line because the power of x is 1. And like for instance, y equals 2, that's a straight line because you could have the same as 0x plus 2. So all of these are straight lines as well. Okay, let's move across, copy those down, come across. Okay, so what we're going to do is generate a formula that you can use every single time to find the x and y intercepts. So as I said on the previous page, the y intercept is when x equals 0 and the x intercept is when y equals 0. Okay, so using the formula, so we've got y equals mx plus b, and in this particular one, I'm doing the y-intercept, so x is 0. So that number there will just disappear, and so the y-intercept is b. Okay, so whatever the number is at the back, and we'll do some examples in a sec, but basically the y-intercept will just always be the number that doesn't have any x's. The x-intercept is a little bit harder, but not that hard. So got y equals mx plus b is the starting spot, and we're doing the x-intercept, so y equals 0, so 0 equals mx plus b, and we're trying to find the value of x, so the next thing you do is just move the b across, so minus b equals mx, and then to get rid of the m, to get rid of the m you divide, and so that's the formula that will give you the y-intercept, y equals b, and the x-intercept x -intercept is minus b on m. And on the next page, we'll do some examples just to show you how we use those letters. Copy that and come across. Okay, so we've got two more pages to go. So the y-intercept, so just write those things again. So the y-intercept equals b, and the x-intercept equals minus b over m. So the y-intercept is the constant, so the y-intercept is 3, and the x-intercept is, you take the b value, you divide by the m number, which is 2, and then you put a minus sign in front, and we're done.
finished. Uh, next one, y-intercept. That's the constant, doesn't have any x's, so the y-intercept is minus 5. And the x-intercept is, you take the b number, which is minus 5, you divide it by the m, which is minus 3, and then it says put a minus sign out the front. So we've got three minus signs, but these two minus signs here make a plus, and then we've still got one minus sign, so the answer is a negative. So it's minus five thirds. If you're looking at sketching it, the first line, the y-intercept is three, the x-intercept is minus three on two, and so if you had a straight line, it'd look like that. Obviously you need to have, oh sorry, take back the pen, and so you still have to label your axes and things like that. In the second one, y, x, uh, the y-intercept is minus 5, which is underneath. The x-intercept is minus 5 thirds, which is somewhere over there. And then join them up in a straight line. And then just put arrows at each end. So you've done just a sketch. Okay, and we've got one more page, so copy those down and I think it might be some harder examples next. Okay, coming across now. Okay, so these aren't harder, they're just different. Okay, the y-intercept, there's no number there, so the y-intercept is zero, and once the y-intercept is zero, the x-intercept is also zero, because zero divided by five is gonna be zero. But once that number's zero, then the second number's zero. Okay. Now here, you've got two options. The harder option would be to take the x across. So we've got y equals minus 2x, and 3 hasn't moved, so 3 is still 3. And so the y-intercept is 3, and the x-intercept is, take the y-intercept, divided by the m value, and then stick a minus sign out the front, and then we've got two minus signs. So we get a plus. There's another way of doing it, which might be easier. So with the y-intercept, the x number disappears. So y equals 3. And for the x-intercept, okay, instead of this disappearing, if I just go rub that out again and put the 2x back in. So for the x-intercept, the y number disappears, and so you've got 2x, 2x equals 3, and so x equals 1 and a half, which is what we got there. Okay, one more example. Okay, this is, looks a bit different, so if you want to, you can break it up into two fractions if you want to, but I'll show you two different ways. So, okay, this way, um, uh, I think, oh no, well th so this way comes from there, sorry. So the y-intercept equals the const, the number at the back, which is minus one-fifth, and the x-intercept equals, take the y-intercept, divide it by the coefficient, which is one-fifth, and then change the sign, and we've got two minuses, which make a plus, and then one-fifth divided by one-fifth is one, so the x-intercept is one. But an easier way might be the y-intercept is when x equals zero, so that crosses that out, so you get y equals minus one-fifth. And for the x-intercept, I'll write it out again, y equals x minus one over five. So for the x-intercept, y equals zero, and so when you cross-multiply over here, you get zero equals x minus one, because this is zero, 5 times 0 is 0, and then that solves to x equals 1, which is that answer there. Okay, so copy those down, and you'll get practice in your classes. Okay, thanks. Bye.